Right, so I've mentioned in other videos how I've been able to use lucid dreaming to help me pass my driving test faster, but I've never really explained how I did it. So this is, so let me give some context here. So lucid dreaming can be used to help you practice skills and then improve at those skills in waking life. It's most effective when you use it for physical skills, something that you're going to have to develop muscle memory or confidence around your muscles. So things like martial arts, climbing, physical sports like rugby, football, these things, um, and things like driving because you're obviously using a lot of muscle memory and coordination when you're, do, when you're doing manoeuvres, right? When you're doing things like three-point turns and parallel parking, clutch control, this sort of thing. It's all based on your muscle memory, which is why the, mo the more hours you have in the car driving it, the faster you're going to pass your tests. It's not necessarily about your intelligence or your theory, although that does play a part and you do need to pass your theory test. It's mainly about your physical muscle memory and your clutch control and how well you can control the vehicle. That's really what it comes down to, okay? Now, when let, I should give some, some more context about this. When I was learning how to drive, I didn't have a lot of money. I was really struggling. In fact, I, you know, the driving lessons were quite expensive. Although there was some sort of introductory deal on with the driving lessons, I was still conscious of the fact that they were quite expensive and I wanted to pass as quickly as I possibly could. I wanted to just get it over and done with so that I could drive in order to get to work, in order to earn money to pay for the whole thing. Anyway, that's another, that's another story. So I needed to learn how to drive quickly and cheaply. So I booked in my lessons, but then what I would do is at the time, obviously I've been lucid dreaming for several years, at the time I was going through some, some pretty profound lucid dreaming experiences as well. So I thought to myself, hold on, I could just learn, like practice this stuff in a lucid dream. And at the time I didn't have my own car, so I couldn't practice it in a car like you're probably expecting I would. It was just in my lessons. I just had the time with my instructor in the car, in my lessons, and that was it. So what I did is I started, in, I started lucid dreaming about driving. Now, yeah, it's quite a boring thing to lucid dream about, but in this case it had a very practical application. I was able to practice and improve at my manoeuvres much faster much faster than if I had just done the time with the instructor. And I wish I had some sort of proof of this. I wish I could show you, you know, without forgetting how to drive and then learning again, there's no way of me proving this, which is really annoying. But at the time I wasn't really doing much on YouTube. I didn't really consider trying to prove it. I just used it as a practical application. But all I can say is that my instructor and, you know, people around me were very surprised and I guess a bit shocked as to how quickly I was improving because I would go from one week not being able to parallel park and you know then I practice it in the driving lesson maybe I'd get it right about once or twice and then the next week it seemed like second nature and you know the week after that was it I'd learned the manoeuvre. I would attribute this massively to lucid dreaming because I would enter a lucid dream I would find a car get into the car and practice the manoeuvres that I found the most difficult. Now there's a few things to mention about this a few sort of catches here Firstly, you can't learn something in a lucid dream. You have to learn something in waking life and then practice the skills in a lucid dream. Secondly, it's mainly for physical things. Like I said, it's for things that require muscle memory that you can actually train in a lucid dream because you can't study algebra in lucid dreams because numbers are all mixed up. It doesn't make sense. But what you can do is you can simulate uh, something physical. like So in, a, car, in a, a dream car, I should say, the clutch works fairly similarly to how it does in waking life because your subconscious mind has absorbed how the clutch works and it knows that if you dip it down and then raise your foot slightly it knows that the car should pull away slowly and it also knows your subconscious mind knows that if you pull it up too fast the car will stall and if you pull it up too slowly the car won't move fast enough you need to pull your foot up at just the right speed to make the car move away uh, you know, fast enough to then put it into to second gear and third gear and so on. So your subconscious mind knows how to create a car and how to make it work in a dream. All you need to do is find one and then practice in it. It's very simple. And I don't want to say much more about it than that because that's all you need to do. Just find a car in a lucid dream, practice, you know, your driving manoeuvres and techniques. You'll find that when you come back to your lesson, it's as if you'd had double the time to learn the same manoeuvre. It's really interesting and, you know, I really, I really do hope you guys try this out and give it a go and let me know how you get on with this. But just to be very clear, you can't learn how to, how to drive in a lucid dream. You have to learn how to drive in waking life and then practice the skills you learned in a lucid dream. That's what will get you the results, not just doing one. 
okay? Anyway, that's it for today. That's it for today, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Done.